Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. Uh, shout out to all the new subscribers. Thanks for everybody for being here and following me along with my musical journey. <laughs> and I just want to say, hey, thanks for all the suggestions I've gotten. Um, I wanted to go back and um, check out the official video for Ugly by 2Anyone. Um, just based off the suggestions that I got. And I kind of felt almost like... Um, I did, I've already done this song, um, and I'll put the link at the end of the video back to this one. It'll be in the playlist anyway. But at the same time, it's like I cut the song off because I wanted to pull up the lyric video, which I did. It was fine. Like, I checked it out, had a great reaction to it, I think. Well, definitely left some impressions on me for real. But at the same time, I also cut off, like, part of the, uh, the official music video. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Hey. I'm gonna go back and check it out and uh, see what, you know, see what the actual video looks like. So before I do that, two quick things, um, disclaimer time. I'll probably be pausing this video a little bit um, just cause it's my first time at least seeing the official video. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that in advance. And for those of you that don't like that, you already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Yo, first of all, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the video, uh, to the video in the description box below, just for you just for you why because i care about you you know what i'm saying because i know it's annoying sometimes to see somebody pause the video chop the video whatever while you're trying to find the video anyway <laughs> you know what i'm saying so what i'll do is i'll put that link back to this video uh, if you want if you're interested in seeing the english uh, subtitle version of it and then of course please speaking of that subtitles go ahead and hit the sub button to uh know when i drop new videos uh I got the day off today from work. Actually, I got the next two days off. So today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna be trying to drop as many videos as I can. Like I'm, I wanted to get a lot more content out and I got some open time in my schedule to do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop out some videos today. That's what's happening. <laughs> so uh, definitely hit that notification because you might, well, you might get annoyed with that button here in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how, uh, what, what I can get done today. I do got some plans today. So I got some other stuff I gotta knock out, but you know, I definitely want to get some content out. So let me go ahead and hit the start button on this guy. This is to anyone ugly, the English version. Well, at least the English subs. Let's get to it. pause right here for a second so before i get into this i want to talk about the comments i had on the last video because um, i went back and read those and somebody pointed out a couple of things uh one they talked about how the label actually positioned these this group as the ugly k-pop singers which i'm like because of like their body type or whatever and like the ex CEO was out there talking about, yo, they're not as pretty as these other girls, but they got talent. What kind of marketing? What kind of <laughs> what kind of BS is that? Like, come on. And then somebody else put uh, the ugly actually has is an acronym that says you got to love yourself. U-G-L-Y. You got to love yourself. So I can see why people say this song hits different. When you think about them calling themselves ugly, when it's literally how they were marketed, that's how they were like promoted from their label was like, these are the ugly girls. Like what? <laughs> Yo, like I get that you want to be a star. I get you want to be famous. I get all that stuff. But at the same time, it's like, is it worth it having to go through all that stuff being called ugly? Like, come on, man. 
I heard that guy's fired down too, which thank God. If that's the case, I hope he never, ever, ever handles talent or anybody again for that matter. That's nuts. Anyway, let me rewind it just back a little bit. Sorry, I had to get that off my, <laughs> I had to get that out uh, early. So let's go. So now that I see it with the official music video, I see what they're doing. And I think other people have said this in the comments too, where they're just kind of like almost balking at the idea that they're ugly. Like, how are you going to call us ugly? We out here rocking out, having a great time. We're not ugly at all. Trust me. Like I've seen ugly people and that's not them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, at this, I shouldn't say they're ugly. I've seen different looking people. How's that? Different looking people. But at the same time, it's like, come on. How can you call like a whole group of folks like that? That's not it. Nah, that ain't the move. But I like the fact that they're just like, you know, owning that that uh, label they're giving and just being like, you know what? We don't even care about it. We don't care what y'all call us, which is how you should be. We don't care what your opinion is of us. We're going to go out here, rock it like nobody else is doing, put out good music and good content and live our lives. How hard is that? All right, let's go back. pause right there i said what she's saying there too now that i'm seeing the words again you know what i'm saying where, where you're patronizing somebody like oh you know like you're not as ugly as you think you are or you get sometimes even that's annoying uh what do they call that uh they, it's called toxic positivity look it up it's a thing toxic positivity when you're overly toxic when you're overly positive to somebody and just kind of be like, oh, it's always going to be okay. It's always going to be sunny. And being very unrealistic makes you sound like you're coming off as very indifferent and unsympathetic. You know what I'm saying? It kills your your genuineness when you're overly patronizing. And and that also messes with your mood and your, and your perception on life. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's real stuff. Look it up. <laughs> so... In my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Be, you could be there for somebody. It's not that you don't want to be there for your friends or family or whatever. But toxic positivity can also be detrimental to your mental health, you know, or the mental health of others, too. It can also be a sign that you have some mental issues <laughs> so, or something maybe that you need to address in yourself. So anyway, let me go back. Pause. I also like the beat on this a lot more too. Now that I'm having a time to kind of appreciate it more, um, I definitely like the the production on here. Like the 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 kind of 
I don't know what kind of drums I would put that. I, don't, I was I was gonna say trap drums, but it's not trap drums. But either way, but I still like the production to it. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a cool little bop going on. You know, da, 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 da. almost like a I don't know, like I don't want to say Spanish kind of. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, I know I like it. That's what I do now. How's that? right here song's almost over i think we got about a couple more seconds left but i like the rock elements to this too you know what i'm saying they got a good rocking vibe you know what i'm saying along with the with the drums and stuff and i like the party atmosphere they're putting on because they're like yo like you know we can have our own life we can live our own thing we can have our own group of friends and stuff so even if other people think we're not attractive or we're not looking good or whatever the case might be we can still have fun and live and thrive and be successful in our own way in our own lane you know what i'm saying like we don't have to like conform to that and maybe that's kind of what they're alluding to like i saw the part where they ran up and there's like some girls in some black outfits and they just kind of went up and started spray painting them like that might be kind of like uh almost a metaphor almost where it's like you have all these other cookie cutter groups that are like processed or whatever they're they're supposed to look like a certain thing and they're really just showing up to throw some color in there and be like look you guys are like pretty generic like everybody looks like y'all this is the formula this is the way it is and we're gonna come in and look different than the rest of you guys and spray paint you guys up or whatever and then bring you in with us you know because at the end at the end of the day we're all unique we're all different and and we all think that you know in a way that even if we don't conform with the rest of society or whatever, that we still have our own place and, and we can find our own place. If we can't find it, we can make our own place. How's that? <laughs> so, all right, let me run back and we'll just play the rest of this out. with the explosions explosions sorry <laughs> i like your shirts though i like the shirts right there the slimer shirt and the skull with the hat i like the style right there too definitely like the style. so anyway that was the official music video to uh from to anyone ugly um just then of a follow-up to my original reaction now i got a chance to like see the actual video and kind of put the song with the context of the video and honestly like with the second playthrough of it i definitely got more meaning out of it or at least more from what i put in put out it originally um and combined with the video you definitely get a different type of feel to the song because if you listen to the song on its own without the visuals it's honestly kind of a sad song i'm like oh man and you can see that more in my other video but i think at the end of the vi this video with the visuals combined with it you know i can definitely see more of the the spin to it kind of the positive take on it 
you know so that uh, that part I, I definitely appreciate um also uh, the fashion sense is dope you know what i'm saying because they just trying to come out look different you know what i'm saying and you kind of get more of a feel of the dynamics of the song where you have like different elements coming in you have the kind of rock vibe to it um the drum part i couldn't really <laughs> categorize or whatever you know what i'm saying like that that part you definitely get you you certainly get more um depth and feel to the song with it so this is a good pairing of visuals and music in my opinion whoever directed this video whoever put this thing together was really good at their job you know they really were because i got a lot of meaning out of that and definitely definitely helps that i'm more familiar with the song now too so at any rate hey thanks for watching the video i appreciate your time appreciate you being here with me i i, I can't stress enough thank you for just subscribing and checking my channel out um, I definitely appreciate that. And shout out to all the commenters and everybody that suggested this song and suggested the uh, the video to it as well. Because um, I, like I said, I'm just on a musical journey. I'm just trying to get more into the deep end of all these different artists and genres, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm just learning as I go along. So thanks to you guys, I'm definitely getting a lot more information about all these groups that I've been checking out so far. So, again, thank you. So, yo, this is the end of the video, and uh, how do I know it's the end of the video? Probably because I'm about to stop talking. <laughs> so, shout out to you guys. Take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.